Hey, what's up everybody? Scott Zlatev here and I have a powerful, powerful training for you today and if you use it properly, you're going to begin to attract more people into your business than you are repelling them. Because more than likely, right now, if you're not attaining the success that you really, really want, it's because there's some things that you're doing, some, some ways that you're being in your content, in your advertising, in anything that's repelling people. Okay, now I'm going to actually show you this with this little hair pretty. <laughs> So I don't know, you can see this, it's a little hair pretty. And you know, I've, I've got a daughter, you know, I love her to death. And, and so, you know, I was looking for a rubber band, couldn't find a rubber band, but you know, I had plenty of these hair pretties laying around. So um, basically, let's pretend that this is you and your business, okay, in this hand. And this hand is your prospect, okay? Or the person that's coming to your capture page or coming to your videos or coming to anything. Okay, and let's say that they want to, you know, connect with you and all that stuff. Um, and, and this is, you know, especially like if you're doing any type of, uh, you know, uh, phone calls, if you ever pick up the phone, if you're ever chatting with somebody, if anything, this is about positioning. Okay, and this is how to attract more abundance because the bottom line is, you know, you attract what you are. If you're a good person inside, if you're ethical, if you're moral, and you give nothing but value, you're going to get that in return. Okay, it's a law of reciprocation. You get back what you give out. Okay, so if you're negative all the time, if you're negative on Facebook, if you're negative in YouTube, you're, all of your stuff is communicating negatively. Everybody's going to be repelled from you because they don't want to be around that negativity. So if you're being negative, stop it. Stop being negative, okay? You want to put out nothing but positive vibes because people want to be around positive people. So here, here we go. Okay, here's the example. This is you on this side, and this is your prospect or your audience, okay? So this could be you. This could be everybody on the Internet, okay? So what happens is a person sees your content. And let's say that, well, maybe uh, they opt in. Okay, let's say they opt into your capture page. And so you maybe you, you connect with them on Facebook or you email them or something like this. And maybe the prospect just isn't quite interested, you know. And so they start going this way. Well, now you have one of two options. You can either stay where you're at, stay your ground, and maybe the prospect comes back. Now, you know something really interesting here. If I go like this... This, this still stays together here because this always wants to go back to a circle, right? This always, no matter how much you stretch it, it always wants to go back to its original shape. Now, if this prospect goes this way and you start chasing after your prospect, they're going to keep going and you're going to keep chasing. You're going to keep going, you're going to keep chasing. You're going to keep going, you're going to keep chasing. And that's what I find a lot of people do. And what that might, you might have excitement and passion about what you do. But what the other person on the other end perceives that as is desperation. Okay? I, I, I fought with this for years in my business before I finally figured this out. Okay? I was super excited and passionate about what I did. And that came across to everyone else as I was desperate, okay? So now, your prospect goes this way and you just stay right here. They might flounder around a little bit, they might look here, they might look over there, and maybe, just maybe, they might actually just go completely out of the picture and break your little circle you got here. And if they do, that's okay. Because you know what, you're rock solid. And now what happens if they come back, they say, huh, this is pretty cool. You say, yeah, but you know, I don't know if there's any spots available for you yet. What? Really? Well, yeah, I'm pretty busy. You know, I've got, I've got, you know, over 175 people that I personally, you know, brought into this thing. And I just don't have time for anybody who's not serious. Well, I'm telling you, I'm really serious. Really? You're really, you're really serious? So you're ready to pull out your credit card right now, click on that link and, and join? Well, I don't know if I'm not. Okay, see ya and you can break it, right? And then a new circle forms because they opt back in or they get back in touch with you and they say, oh yeah, yeah, you know what, I'm ready to go. Okay, great, well here's what, here's what I require. Are you ready? Okay, and they say yeah. And so right, right now they're in your realm. You've attracted them because you kept pulling away. You weren't chasing after them the whole time, you were pulling them to you. Now that's how you can attract more people is by positioning yourself uh, by being that person 
who has the who has what they want. It's attractiveness. I mean, you you know, I mean, this goes into relationships too. I mean, ladies, you know how how annoying that guy is that just likes you too much. They just want to be, oh, hi, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful, <laughs> you know? That guy is like, you just <laughs> give me the creeps, right? So stop that, guys, right? So instead, be strong, be where you're at, and this is who you are, this is your business, and you know what you're all about. Devil deliver value every single day, just like this video. Now, no, this isn't any techie stuff, and frankly, most of the technical stuff, you guys, is a very low-paying job. You can go outsource most of your tech stuff, you know, because, I mean, three years ago, I had no clue what a blog was. I was down to 25 bucks left in my bank account. I had no, I mean, I, I knew none of this stuff, so I had to learn some things. Now, I'm retired from my, my day job. I, you know, I've, I've done, I've accomplished quite a bit uh, just over the past, you know, year and a half, two years, right? Uh, okay, but it took me a little bit to learn the stuff, and this is one of those little secrets about about posturing and positioning. Okay, so if you can posture and position yourself in front of your prospects and in front of uh, your sphere of influence, and show you and, and think in your mind, this is who I am. I am the leader that is meant to be, and you don't flaunt it, you don't brag, you don't boast, anything like that. I'm just telling you um, from my own experience what has led to some of my success. Okay, so. In final conclusion, I know that this may happen, and it actually happens quite a bit. Your prospect says, well, I just don't know if I really want this, and this is hard to break. <laughs> Sometimes, you just gotta let them go. And that's why there's the nice little unsubscribe button at the bottom of, of all different people's emails. But more than likely, if you stick with this, that person will join your list again, because they realize that you provided more value than anybody else, and you've actually provided proof that, you know, hey, I've been able to do this, I've been able to do this, you know, I, you know, generating hundreds of leads a day, I'm making thousands of dollars a day, all this stuff. And if you can't prove that, that's okay. You know, uh, your, your positioning and the way that you carry yourself will show through. Okay, so that's just some of the little, little mindset shifts that you can do in your business that can cause a huge monumental difference in the way that you cut your videos, in the way that you write your blog posts, the way that you put, produce your content, right down to interpersonal relationships on how you're perceived by other people. Okay? So Scott Zlatev here. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.